And hello fellow Tekker Space Bandit here with another episode of World of Tanks and today we're gonna be covering the last map in this mini series, uh, the last map coming back to World of Tanks. In the next little while will be map Rassini. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you a game in a Tiger Shark before update 6.0 obviously because that map wasn't in a rotation since 6.0 hit the floor but we'll be coming back shortly so yeah today we're gonna cover that map and I chose this game because it just uh, shows the entire map to be honest and because I'm zooming around in this little tyke yeah you're gonna see pretty much everything on this map the map is fantastic and what you have here is this castle area here on the right hand side this is where mostly heavy tanks come to brawl because it provides some cover from artillery and it's a high ground this area provides a high ground as well as cover that's why it's so important on this map so uh, yeah it is important to win this area the E1 G4 area and a lot of fighting seem to be happening here in the old meta now we'll see how it happens in the new meta right but the map overall is fantastic because it has a lot of hills rocks areas where you can hide there's few hills up on the west side where tds can camp and snipe from those areas so yeah a really nice map that has pretty much everything for any type of a tank oops space go back <laughs> there's nowhere to go over there that's right let's go back here so uh, yeah especially for light tanks it has a lot of room to move around use your mobility use the hills and valleys to escape spot your position so in this tank what i'm gonna do early in game we're gonna try to spot and our spawns were a little bit weird in this situation because we're in a team destruction mode so our spawn was on southwest and the opposition spawn was on north east however if you have a flag base mode on this map the flag positions were northwest for uh, the greens and southeast for the reds so normally your team would control northwest area of the map here and the opposition would control southeast area of the map this is slightly different because of the spawns but regardless let's see how this plays out so in this situation because we did have the south west area of this map i'm gonna try to take the northwest and that's what i'm trying to do here using this light tank to go up all the way up to the north and try to spot these guys up here now as you noticed there's few of our tanks sitting at um was it e3 and f4 that's a regular area on the castle where you have high ground you can shoot from but you have to be careful over there because if you're spotted then uh, yeah you'll probably get annihilated because TDs like sitting in area D3 or D4 as well as F9 and G9 and from there yeah they can shoot pretty much across the map also because of the terrain light tanks and medium tanks can get down all the way to the castle area into locations E4 or F5 because you have low ground over there so if you can get in right under the castle the greenies in this situation would have to overexpose to shoot these guys you can see a reds medium tank right there at F5 yeah and that area over there you could pretty much go unpunished because there won't be any guns looking at you it will be hard to get away from that location if you get pushed but yeah it provides really good spots to your team if you decide to make that aggressive play now what i'm gonna try to do in this game is use my camo and yeah we're gonna just set up on this rock over here and just keep these guys lit that's all i'm trying to do at this point especially this e75 but nobody wants to shoot him for whatever reason i don't know if anybody has shots at him I got kind of iffy shots over here, but gladly I do not have itchy finger at the moment, so I'm not shooting. Because usually when I play light tanks, yeah, that's uh, I'm not playing them <laughs> really that well. I like to shoot a lot instead of just passive scout sometimes, but this is good passive scouting right here. 
So, yeah, we're going to, I guess, remain in this position. Now, uh, the game mode is fantastic. We don't have any artillery in play. With Artie on this map, you will suffer because Artie has shots all over this map. I mean, it's a great map for Arties again. Except if you're in the castle area. You do have some protection from Artie over there. But, yeah, the map is absolutely fantastic, guys. I mean, for console exclusive, again, this was a console exclusive map. And I believe it still will be. <laughs> Obviously, this map is not on PC. The map was one of the better ones. I still didn't like the rocks and slippery rocks on this map because it was really hard to climb up some of these hills. As you can see, I even have trouble getting up here on this rock. It's quite slippery. But yeah, I mean, uh, overall, I think a lot of newer maps that were brought into World of Tanks on console had these slippery rocks, unfortunately. I'm hoping that the designers take that into consideration when uh, releasing these maps again on console but knowing our luck it's probably not going to happen <laughs> anyway so my job here is almost done this uh, e75 here that we're going to try to uh, get out of the game and that's exactly what we're going to do put a few shells into him and now we're going to move up continue moving up the north side of the map over here as you can see like there are these nice terrain differences right here where you can hide and then you can poke up that's excellent on this map it works for any type of a tank it would be key to take out that light tank over there he's spotting our team but unfortunately we missed that shot on him now we have shots at this t30 so we're going to try to put a couple into him unfortunately we're firing heat not sure why i'm firing heat here be firing APCR rounds so that way I could have taken that T30 out of the game but now he gets away and looks like I still have heat loaded not sure why don't ask me why this game was played a while ago so I don't really remember why probably no reason I just didn't pay attention we have a shot at this light tank can we put a shell into him Yes, we can. The shell flies through. Can we take him out? No, he gets away. Now, that's a problem. If we could take a light tank out of this game, especially on this map, it would be fantastic. It would help us win this game easily. Anyway, we're going to reposition here, see if we can spot something else. And I'm going to keep going on the outskirts of the map over here and try to see if I can spot. See those rocks provide nice cover as well. Yeah, it's a great map. I mean, there's a lot of little tiny locations and spots you can go to hide. Especially for light tanks, where you cruise around the map. You can use the open area to spot and then get behind the rock if you need to. Now here I'm not spotted, so we're going to try to put a shell into this guy. Now we get spotted. So we unloaded the last shell and now we're going to move and hide behind the rock. And that's exactly what we're going to do. See, on maps like Erlenberg, for instance, when it's so open, it's really hard to find any spot where you can hide. So I kind of like the way Wargaming did this map, where you do have little areas where you can hide, even though there's quite open terrain. You can still hide behind those rocks and dips in the terrain. Anyway, we're going to try to go up here and finish up that waffle. I just wanted to see him engage with my friendlies first don't want to lose any HP at the moment so there he is now we should be able to put three shells into him and shortly enough he should be taken out and he is now we have to be mindful of this T30 he's got a big gun so I don't want to get hit by him but he seems to be just chilling over there not sure why we're gonna reload and once we reload since our medium tank is coming from the north side we're gonna try to go south but he's looking at me luckily he couldn't aim quite fast enough so we're able to take him out of the game so again the game is still close but we're gonna continue our progress we're gonna go through the north see if we can pinch these guys or flank them from this side we get spotted here so we're gonna have to maneuver quickly 
this RU was outspotting us. It looks like he would be able to outspot us. Although he was stationary, I was driving, so who knows? He might have been outspotting me because, yeah, he was just sitting there. Now we have shots into these guys, into their behinds. Unfortunately, this shell doesn't go anywhere. I'm gonna try another one. Yeah, that's never gonna pen Object 257. Their tracks are just too strong. And their hull is angled. They basically have V-shaped hull. Even if you try to shoot the tracks, you won't be able to pen them. We do end up hitting standard B over there. But unfortunately, all of our tanks on the south side get taken out at the moment. So we're losing this game. It's actually 2v3. Now, with a light tank on this map, in a potential clutch situation, it is quite possible to do this on this map in a light tank, especially in a Tiger Shark. So let's see if we are able to do this. So we're gonna use the high ground. Like, look at those hills right here, see? This is where TDs like to sit as well. Especially in the new meta with uh, extra camo values, they'll probably be sitting all over those hills. I'm pretty sure. Although there didn't seem to be a lot of bushes here. As you notice, there's mostly just rocks and some trees in a way. But I wonder if in the new map design they're gonna have more bushes on those hills. Anyway, so I noticed these guys are going towards the center of the map. And at this moment I thought, you know what, probably it's a better idea that we try to follow into where they're going. And we're gonna try to flank him. At the same time, we're gonna try to climb up some hills and see if we can spot them. Here, I have trouble getting up that hill. As you notice, slippery rocks over there. But we can't spot anything. It looks like our medium tank is following us at the moment. So we're gonna just do ridge hopping at this point, try to find them. There is another hill right here where TDs like to sit and shoot across the map. These are the locations I was telling you about earlier, but here I'm actually showing you them in this tank, in this game, which is quite cool, to be honest. So the area in the middle is quite open, but again, if you go in the middle, there are some buildings in the middle of the map that are destructible, but you can still hide there if you need to. So it's not quite open map. Anyway, we're gonna keep moving up here and gonna see where these guys are it looks like they're hiding we can't find them they're either following us or they're sitting and waiting for us I'm not sure I mean the map is quite big so you know chasing a light thing on this map it's yeah it's tough proposition to be honest but there are three of them and they could have spread out but Knowing their HP, they weren't the healthiest of a bunch. So maybe they're just sitting and waiting for us to find them instead. I guess we'll see. So right here you can see nice riverbed. And this is what I was talking about. If you take this riverbed all the way around the castle, you will be able to stay unspotted. And it will be hard for these guys that are sitting in the castle area to hit you. But you can spot everyone pretty much that's coming to the edge of the castle and you can go up the ridge the way you enter the castle there's a ridge line like this one on the left hand side where you can go up and spot them whoever's up there now this area here is also quite prevalent when it comes to brawling usually when the spawns are northwest and southeast heavy tanks like to come here and brawl and use their gun depression right here in this area this is a standstill in this location here normally, or used to be. So we're gonna try to spot around here. They're not here, where are they? Are they in a castle area? We're gonna try to spot here now. Nope, they're not here. Well, the time is running out, so we're gonna have to do something because if the game ends 2v3, then we're obviously gonna lose the game. So I'm gonna have to push this right here. And at least try to take one tank, maybe two tanks out of the game. Maybe two low HP tanks out of the game. Now this area here too, on the right hand side, is good for crossfire. So if you spawn on... Ooh, spotted this guy right here. Can we put some shells into him? We put one. Oh, and he disappears. What I was gonna say is, 
if you spawn on northwest side and you have a fast tank you can quickly come to position k1 or k2 and you will have crossfire into these guys trying to climb up into the castle area or h line anyway let's see what we can do here 20 seconds left can we take these guys out of the game i know i can pen standard b easily so we're gonna put a shell into him and now we see this object 257 unfortunately you won't be able to pen him what i should have done what i should have done is turn around and start shooting the ru251 the light tank but wasn't paying attention again wasn't paying attention but luckily we still managed to win this game which is fantastic anyway nothing spectacular here guys just one of the games that i pulled out from my hard drive that i had on there and this was showing the entire map pretty much because i was driving all the way throughout the map so you could see it quite well thought it would be a good game to show you guys and show you what this map is all about absolutely fantastic map highly recommended those four maps coming back into the game are all absolutely fantastic you will all enjoy them they're good for every tank pretty much well maybe not so much for heavy tanks but <laughs> hey what are you gonna do play medium tanks or light tanks or tds anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video that's it for now until next time happy tanking space banding chicken out